Hello, it's good to be with you today. Uh, our final uh, devotional together for uh, this year uh, as we turn back once again to the 119th Psalm. As we do so, uh, let's look to the Lord in prayer. Our Father, we praise you for another year of life. We praise you for the way that you have walked with us through this year. We praise you for your word, uh, which is eternal, uh, which stands firm in the heavens. We praise you that we can trust it, that we can trust you, the author of it. We pray that even now as we spend time in your word and we think about the experience of, of your word, uh, we pray that you would cause us to love it, to love it even more. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, we come today to the final two verses of the Mem section of Psalm 119, verses 103 and 104. And here in these verses, we will see uh, the experiential goodness of the word of the Lord. Uh, already in this section, we saw that the psalmist started it by saying, Oh, how I love your law. How I love your law. Now we're going to come back here in verse 103 to that, that word again, how. How. And it's a... It's an exclamation. It's a, a declaration. Um, but we've seen that because he loved the Lord's law, he, he meditates on it. He keeps it close. He, he guards it. Uh, we saw the benefits that, that come through spending time in the word of the Lord. We saw that our way is guarded by the word of the Lord, that his commandments keep us safe and keep us from turning off uh, to evil ways. But now, uh, we see uh, the sweet goodness of having spent time in hearing God's word. And so uh, Psalm 103 and 104, Psalm 119, 103 and 104, the psalmist writes, How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through your precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. So first we see uh, the, the sweetness. The sweetness, he says, how sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. And it, you just, yeah, it's it's this image that you can you can taste it. You say, mm, yeah, honey is very sweet. Uh, if you ever, I, I love when I have uh, a cup of, of tea on on a cold night, uh, perhaps when the throat's a little bit raw, uh, to to put a little bit of honey in there and the sweetness of that honey and being able to. Just taste that last little bit of the tea and the, and the honey comes in your mouth. And it's, a, it's a wonderful taste. But here the, the psalmist says there's something that exceeds that. It, it goes so far beyond it. And that is your word. Your word. When I hear your word. When I experience your word. When I, when I know your word. I see its truth. I, I see it in my life. And I, I love it. And that becomes a question for us, even uh, going into the, the new year. I would encourage you, if you don't have some sort of scheduled plan for reading God's Word, uh, to think about it this week. Uh, perhaps even if, if you're not knowing where to look, contact me. Uh, get a hold of me. Let me know. Hey, I want to read my Bible this year. Um, where's a good place to start? What are some resources to use? Nothing compares to spending time in God's Word, to hear its truth, to learn from it, um, to learn from the prayers we've been seeing here in, in Psalm 119, to pray as we, we begin to read God's Word. Open my eyes that I might see wonderful things in your law. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your truth. But the psalmist says, you know, I've, I've experienced it. And if you're not in the habit of being in, in church of hearing the word preached, uh, make that a regular habit. If, if your habit has only been to be there in the morning, come in the evening, uh, even in the winter months, come in the evening. If you need a ride, uh, let somebody at the church know. We'll, we'd love to pick you up uh, to hear God's word preached, uh, to, to learn its truth and to experience the sweetness of it. I know how wonderful. Uh, I'm sure that you, many of you can uh, relate, uh, can Verify that this is true, how sweet it is that God's word so often comes just the place we need it, just what we need to hear, just that thing where it, it satisfies us. 
It gives us what we need. And sometimes that's the correction that we need. Sometimes it's the encouragement we need. Sometimes it's the perspective we need. Sometimes it's just to be reassured that God is God. And my situation, my circumstances are not everything, but he is in control. Secondly, uh, we see here because of this experience, he says, through your precepts, I get understanding. He's talked about understanding before. He's talked about the fact that he understands more than his teachers, that he understands more than the agent. And he says, it's, it's through your precepts. It's through me going through line by line, detail by detail, situation by situation, seeing how does this apply? How does this apply? How does this apply? You know, one of the, the best books of the Bible for, for thinking preceptually, uh, if that's even a word, but to think in that way is the book of Proverbs. You know, besides thinking about this coming year and, and reading through the, the Bible and, and what your daily Bible reading plan is, part of that might be to say, okay, I'm going to read through the book of Proverbs every month. It's got 31 chapters, so half of the months you just read one chapter a day, a couple of the month, one of the months you have to read a couple extra chapters because it's only got 28 days, but then the rest of the months you have to pick up one extra chapter. But but to read those precepts, to, to look for wisdom, to say, Lord, give me understanding, give me wisdom as I see the detail by detail precepts that you have for me there, whether it's you know how I um, make use of my time, how I make use of my resources, how I make use of my tongue um, or and you could you could pile up that list but to, to spend some real time in 2021 searching for the Lord's precepts there in the book of Proverbs and there's a result that comes from that what does he say in verse 104 the the final thing in Mount our final thought for for 2020 he says through your precepts I get understanding therefore I hate every false way because we spend time in God's truth, we can recognize falsehood. And because we've spent time in God's truth and we've grown to love it and understand the sweetness of it, we hate that falsehood. You know, that's a, a proper hatred, to hate what is false. Paul, uh, in applying the gospel in Romans, as he turns the corner in Romans chapter 12, and he's, he's becoming very practical there and and things that come out of, of the things that come out of the gospel, he says, hate what is evil, cling to what is good. The psalmist says, because, because you've been teaching me, because I've been learning your truth, because I've been tasting your truth, other stuff just doesn't taste good anymore. I don't want it. I'm clinging to what's true and I'm I'm hating, I'm abhorring what is false. And so may that be our experience more and more uh, as this year closes, as we come to the new year, to spend time in God's word, to learn, to love the taste of it, to love its sweetness, and also to be taught by it so that we're being transformed, so that our, our love is built more and more, so that more and more we're saying, how I love your law, how I love you law. And notice that's where Mem starts is how I love your law, where it is in, I hate every false way. Might our experience of the word of God regulate our, our reactions, our love and our hatred. Might we grow in our love for the Lord and his word. Might we grow in our hatred for evil and falsehood and that which is against him. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for your great faithfulness. I thank you that as we experience you, experience your word, you are more wonderful than words can express. Thank you for the rich imagery of the Psalms, uh, especially this imagery of, of sweeter than honey. Or might we know that taste this year. And oh Lord, might you grow us in wisdom that we might to learn to love what you love and hate what you hate. Make us wise. Wise for salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. Wise in our daily living out uh, from that salvation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right.
We'll see you in the new year.